Oilers hosting the Kraken, and the Kraken are plus 184 on the money line. The Oilers are minus 230. The over-under is at 6.5 goals. The Kraken getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 140, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Oilers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 112, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. This is most teams' final preseason game, so you're going to see something similar to what you're going to see on opening night for the NHL rosters. Now, they did play each other once in the preseason. The Oilers won that game 4-1. to These head-to-head stats that I'm going to read off are based off of the regular season and not the preseason, but I did give you the one preseason score. The Oilers are on a two-game winning streak. The Oilers are 5-2. and two. The favorite is 4-3 and three on the money line, and the favorite winning these games by multiple goals, laying a goal and a half, is 4-3. and three. There's only been one one-goal game in their last seven meetings. The over is 6-0-1, and, and the over at 6.5 goals is 7-0. and oh. Now, I say this, and I have to say this because it's preseason. Um, If McDavid and Dreisaitl are not playing, I do not recommend you taking the Oilers because that's a huge part of their offense that's missing. It's supposed to be Grubauer versus Skinner in net, and I always have a problem trusting the Oilers' goaltenders. Their defense has always been suspect, and usually to start off the season, that's kind of how it starts, or to end the season somehow one way or the other their goaltending and defense falls apart. I'm going to take the Oilers with the money line. I'm going to take the Oilers laying the goals, and I'm going over, provided that both McDavid and Dreisaitl are playing. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.